In every phase of the development of civilization, the horse has been an integral part of that era. Up until the development of the combustion engine, the horse played a pivotal role in every aspect of our society and economy. Everything that moved, from the products that fed our growing nation, materials that built our cities and towns, to the conveyance and migration of our citizens, was performed by horses, pulling wagons, carriages, and carts. And even though the practicality of using horse-drawn power faded out in the early 1900s, the pleasure and enjoyment of carriage driving is still very much alive and well, and is now one of the fastest growing equine sports in the world. Welcome to the National Drive at the Kentucky Horse Park. The Kentucky Horse Park, for over a quarter century, has been the focal point of all things equine and has provided visitors and guests a glimpse of a simpler life, one where horses played a pivotal role and still do. It has and continues to play host to every conceivable equine exhibition, demonstration, and sporting event imaginable, and will play host to the world in the World Equestrian Games in the year 2010. And so it is, a fitting backdrop for the National Drive. An event where hundreds of carriages, drivers, and horses converge for several days of recreational carriage driving, camaraderie, and just plain fun. Carriage driving recreates a time and place where transportation was provided by horses. For many, it's like getting into a time machine, transporting yourself back in time, taking in nature, listening to the sound of hoof beats on the road, the rustling of leaves as you pass through the countryside, all moving at a pace commensurate with the simplicity of a bygone era. But what is carriage driving all about? And why is it becoming one of the fastest growing equine sports in the world? We'll try to answer those questions here. And show you what carriage driving is all about. But perhaps the best way to show you the fun and excitement is to notice the expressions on both drivers passengers and horses. Carriage driving can take many forms, from the grand formality and social correctness of coaching with multiple hitches, 
to the thrill of combined driving, a three-phase competition consisting of a dressage test, a cross-country marathon course with hazards, and a precision driving cones course where drivers have just centimeters of clearance between obstacles, a true test of both horse and drivers. To pleasure driving competitions and shows where drivers and horses are judged to exacting standards in rainmanship, working performances, and the traditional standards of formal turnout. To just the sheer fun and enjoyment of hitching your horse and pleasure driving across the countryside, taking the air, as they said at the turn of the century. Many of the drivers and horses you'll see here participate and aggressively compete in formal competitions, but the National Drive was created to provide a recreational venue where drivers and horses could spend several days of driving with their horses without competitive pressures in the premier horse park in North America. Does it get any better than that? The idea of the National Drive really started because of requests and letters that both Tom Mesnick, who's the editor of the Driving Digest, and myself as uh, recreational chairman of the American Driving Society, were getting on the representation people wanted, they just wanted to recreational drive and not compete, or going someplace where they could just drive and relax without worrying about competing. It took us three years to get a date at the horse park, because the horse park is a very busy place. And then I surrounded myself with more knowledgeable people in all, all fields, and also breeds, put a bunch of ideas together, and started it. Our first turnout was phenomenal. We ended up with about 180 people, almost 100 horses from 19 states. And then our second year, we ended up with 335 people, about 210 horses from 21 states. And it's been overwhelming. It's been actually been phenomenal enjoying the people and enjoying their backgrounds. We've got people here who are, who have been horse people and drivers, if you will, for going on 30, 40 years, as well as people who are just starting. And it's five days of just relaxing, being with other people who like to go clippy clop down the road in whatever kind of carriage they have, whatever kind of harness they have, as long as it's safe, and have a good social time, both the animals, four legged and two legged and we've had a lot of fun doing it. Carriage driving is about the most fun you and your horse can have, and people can participate in this great activity at many levels. As you'll see, this is an all-breed sport, and you'll see all different kinds of carriages and carts being used. Why so many different carts and carriages? Well, just as we have sports cars, SUVs, family vehicles, trucks, etc., horse-drawn vehicles also had specific purposes.
Coachman-driven carriages such as this Visa V were more formal carriages and were an indication of status in society. Wagonettes and traps were used for carrying several people in a more informal environment. Two-wheeled road carts and Meadowbrook carts were lightweight cross-country vehicles suitable for one or two people to make their way cross-country in a lightweight vehicle easy for the horses to pull. Today, you will also see what are called easy entry and training carts, generally metallic in construction and designed for training young driving horses before hitching to a more expensive vehicle. Of more contemporary design are marathon carts, specifically designed for the rigors of cross-country marathon driving and hazard navigation. With a low center of gravity, brakes, and a navigator on the back for balance and ballast, these carriages are built for more aggressive driving and maneuvering around hazards and obstacles.
You'll also notice variations in the harness worn. The collar and hame are generally used when pulling heavier vehicles as it more evenly distributes the weight for the horse. or they are used for more formal carriages and turnouts as formal wear. The other style of harness uses a breast collar, a wide strap across the horse's chest, and is generally used with lighter vehicles. If you're going to get involved in driving, your most important consideration is acquiring equipment that is both strong and safe. Harnesses come in both traditional leather and in synthetic materials, but your most important consideration is that your harness is well built, sturdy, and safe. Each morning of the National Drive starts with a morning briefing, coffee, donuts, and meeting friends from across the country. Somehow know that the Hat Clinic has overridden all of that. And that will be held in the White This year, the event attracted over 200 drivers and horses. by the wine and cheese party. I take Coming from 21 states. Many traveled well over a thousand miles to participate. The entire Kentucky Horse Park is your playground for the event, but everyone starts off with a mandatory safety check to ensure that the equipment is in good condition, the horse is properly harnessed and fitted, and the vehicle is safe to drive.
After the safety check is completed, people are free to drive the entire park, much to the delight of the thousands of guests who visit the park. Vendors turned out in force with everything a driver and horse could need, with everything from carriages and harnesses on display. to a broad selection of proper attire for those who want to get involved in pleasure driving competition and more formal turnout and attire. Clinics were held on proper attire for both ladies and gentlemen drivers. And the ladies enjoyed a special clinic on how to decorate and create driving hats. Well-known driving clinicians held well-attended sessions on everything from proper equipment to how to improve basic driving skills. Difficult to find a friendlier horse hold. So yes, you are going to drive alongside. Oh, so, I can care less what the horse looks like or me, but I like teaching the kids and stuff. It's impossible to go to some kind of event and not. One demonstration in particular generated off. lots of interest the four in hand simulator. This creative device enables the driver to simulate controlling a four horse hitch and understand more clearly how rain control affects the movement and direction of a four in hand hitch. How tight can they turn? Believe me, it's oh, not as easy <laughs> as it looks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Another big hit was the horse scale, where people could get an accurate weight of their special friend. As you can see, the line was long and deep to get your horse weighed. This big fella actually tipped the scale off the chart as he exceeded the 2100 pound limits. While the mornings were cool and crisp, each afternoon warmed under clear blue Kentucky skies. And at the end of the day's driving activities, the guests were treated to a wine and cheese buffet and bluegrass music provided by one of the local bands. Good friends, wine and cheese, and bluegrass music. Does it get any better than this? <laughs> Attendees were also treated to a reception hosted by the Carriage Association of America, who recently moved their national headquarters to the heart of the Kentucky Horse Park. One of the other great things about carriage driving is if um, you want to have an interaction with your horses or donkeys or minis or whatever you have, um, the fun part is that you can take somebody with you that doesn't necessarily ride or drive and they can have a good time too. So that's what makes it so much fun and to see the vehicles. I mean, there's just so many interesting vehicles, antique and otherwise here. And the scenery here is wonderful. I mean, gorgeous. Everywhere. Gorgeous. And, um, well, it's safe too. I mean, that's the beauty of the Kentucky Horse Park. It's a safe environment. It's a controlled environment in the sense that there's traffic, but there's limited amounts of traffic, and horses have the right of way. Horses have the right of way, which is so nice because yeah. we're not used to it. We're used to people, you know, going past us in a big hurry and sticking their head out and saying something. We're here. It's very, very horse friendly. Yeah. So when I was into um, showing and riding. We showed strictly either by breed or discipline. You know, the quarter horses showed with the quarter horses and the Arabs with the Arabs. And here in uh, the carriage driving world, we all show against each other. Yeah, it doesn't matter what size, what breed, long ears, short ears, short ears, <laughs> no body. Big, small. <laughs> Big, small, doesn't matter. Color doesn't matter. Yeah, color doesn't it's matter. Better. You know, all we look for is safe and a good time. Yeah. And that's, that's it, safe and a good time. And, uh... Now, you can look at all the vehicles going by and all the different harnesses and, and everyone's so open that you can go up and ask anyone about anything at any time and they just go, here, let me show you. This is great. Have you ever seen this before? In one of the rings, a hazard is created with several gates for drivers and horses to practice maneuvers and navigating the course in the shortest time possible, much as they would encounter in a combined driving marathon obstacle. A cones course is also set up, consisting of 20 gates marked by sets of cones with tennis balls perched on top. While this can look deceptively easy, it's not. It requires a great deal of precision driving, spatial relationships, and steady rein control to guide both the horse and cart through the set of cones without knocking any cones over or dislodging a tennis ball. Whoa. 
Whoops. See what we mean? In actual competition, the driver only has a few centimeters of clearance off their wheel track, and knocking a cone or ball off would result in a five-second penalty to your score. A fatal error in tough competition. Yes, I do. I like riding on a carriage. Yeah, it's good I'd sport. Like to be left. That's right. <laughs> If you're a horse person, then you're probably a dog person, too. And dogs are welcome at this event, and they seem to enjoy carriage driving as much as their human counterparts do. They act like they bought and paid for it all, don't they? Carriage driving is a great sport for many reasons. It's a great couple sport where husband and wives and significant others can all participate. Whether you drive, ride, or act as the navigator on the back of a marathon cart, carriage driving has broad appeal for both singles, couples, and groups. While some people will tell you they got into carriage driving as they got older and transitioned from saddle riding to carriage driving, the fact is, this is a great sport no matter what age you are. You'll see an increasing number of young people getting involved in carriage driving. such as this young lady from Florida, who is already becoming an accomplished driver at age 15. Because she has the potential to become a competitive carriage driver, she was awarded this stunning marathon carriage by Pleasure Time Driving Companions, one of the vendors at the National Drive. Now, that's a support group like no other. But no matter what age people become involved in carriage driving, you'll find unanimous agreement from all those involved in carriage driving that carriage drivers are the most generous and helpful to be found in the world of equine sports. It's not uncommon at all to see experienced drivers helping novices, competitors helping other competitors. It's about the friendliest community of horse people you will ever encounter. A reputation well deserved. We go fast. <laughs> you, 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 can, you have your choice of taking a pleasure, very slow, walk through the country, enjoying the clip flop of the hooves, or dashing over the hills. Or through the hazards. Or through the hazards. So galloping over and splashing through water. Mm -hmm. so it's a it's, uh, fun sport. It's always fun. It's better when you have uh, the wife to do it with. Sometimes. <laughs> it's the most versatile uh, sport. The thing that drew us into it uh, were the people that drive. Uh, it's got to be the nicest community of people. Everybody helps each other out. Everybody just wants to be out there having a good time. Um, it may get very competitive, but not when it comes to how people interact with each other and how they help each other out. So um, we just find everything about it to be wonderful and a lot of fun.
Another interesting aspect about carriage driving is the suitability of driving across many breeds and sizes of horses and ponies. While the number of breeds suitable for carriage driving are too numerous to name here, we'll identify a few as we go along. Size doesn't matter in carriage driving, just a little conditioning and a willingness to please, along with some formal training, and you'll be ready to join this group. One of the most rapidly growing segments of carriage driving is with miniature horses, or VSEs as they're called. That stands for very small equines. Now, a lot of people will look at a miniature horse and think they're overmatched with a cart and a dolt in tow. But pound for pound, these little guys are equal to, or stronger than, many of their larger counterparts. Remember too, this is rolling weight, not dead weight, and VSEs are exploding in popularity. These little guys really enjoy having a job. For something bigger, ponies are also exceptionally popular and are often seen as a pair pulling a carriage. Increasing in popularity are several pony breeds including the Welsh, Shetlands, Fell Pony, Dartmoors, Halflingers, Connemaras, and others. The Dartmoor, once nearly extinct, has found new popularity as a driving pony. And although there are only a few hundred in North America, a large contingent attended the national drive and took a moment for a photo op during the drive. An even more rare pony breed was also at the national drive, the Gotland. The Gotland Pony, a national treasure of Sweden, has been called a living relic of the past, and that is precisely what it is. Thanks to decisive intervention on the part of local inhabitants, Sweden's most primordial horses still live as they have for thousands of years on the wooded moors of Gotland. Their history is both mysterious and fascinating. There are presently less than 200 of these ponies in North America, but given their prowess and ability as athletic driving ponies, they are sure to expand in popularity. As you can see, a pony has become a very popular choice for a driving companion. Another rare breed in North America are the gypsy horses. The attendees were treated to an authentic gypsy Vardo, the wagon home of a gypsy family. With its ornate wood craftsmanship and rich tradition, the wagon is as colorful as the people who call this home. And let's not forget our long-eared friends. 
They're making some waves in the driving world, too. If one driving horse or pony is a blast to drive, imagine the excitement of driving pairs. There is nothing more thrilling than driving a pair who work well together as a team. Although color matching a pair is visually exciting to see, the most important attribute of putting a pair together is their way of going. Their pacing, step, Reach and stride need to be similar for a pair to work well together. And you will often see a pair that are varied by color, even breed. When you do it right, carriage driving can be an incredible amount of fun and enjoyment for both you and your horse. As with any sport, accidents will occur, but more often than not, they can be attributed to taking shortcuts on your horse's training, your harness or cart, or personal training. The biggest investment you can make is in doing it right for both you and your horse. Carriage driving costs about as much as investing in a good riding horse and equipment. You could spend more if you decide to get into fancier carriages or antiques and formal showing, but entry-level carriage driving is both affordable and enjoyable. Those interested in driving can find local driving groups and clubs in your area. Or contact the American Driving Society or the Carriage Association of America. Both of these organizations have a wealth of information, books, videos, and resources to assist people interested in the sport of carriage driving. but a well-balanced pair working together is a thing of beauty. While most pairs work alongside each other, a variation of this is called the tandem, where one horse works in front of the other. If you're looking for more excitement, a four-in-hand or four-horse hitch is something to behold, and the National Drive saw several in attendance. Watching a well-matched four-in-hand go by is truly an awesome sight. The rhythm of the hoofbeats is mesmerizing. The visual images are captivating. It can take literally years and years to find the right combination of four horses to work together. But when it does, it's something special, magical. Whether you aspire or just admire a four-in-hand hitch you could have as much fun with just one horse while you worked up to your comfort level. As we said, 
There are many breeds of horses suitable for carriage driving. The most important thing is to find a good driving trainer for your horse and a good driving instructor for yourself. The contact with a driving horse is limited to rein contact and control, a driving whip, and verbal commands. The whip you see everyone carrying is not to punish the horse, but to maintain contact and provide driving instruction through contact with the horse. With proper training, most horses can be trained to drive, but getting driving lessons for yourself is also an important consideration. The National Drive, a premier event at a premier location where people can enjoy the sport of carriage driving with their horses and friends, improving their skills or learning new ones, just enjoying time with their horses. Does it get any better than that? The organizers, participants, and vendors of the National Drive invite you to come learn about the fastest growing equine sport today or contact your local carriage driving club or national organizations for more information. It's the most fun you'll ever have with your horse.